One of the campaign missions for Witch Queen allowed us to explore the inner workings of the Europa Pyramid. We did enter this to acquire our stasis powers back in Beyond Light, but this time we had a whole mission, weird statues and a cabal battalion to deal with. In this video, we're going to try and break down what's different about the Europa Pyramid and what the goal of the witness here was. Was this planted to bring in a new disciple? Was the disciple supposed to be us? And what are these weird statues? Let's discuss. The Europa Pyramid was first seen when Beyond Light was announced. We aren't exactly sure how long this pyramid has been here, but it would seem that it arrived with the others around Season of the Arrivals and then made its way to Europa. At the end of that season, we were directed here by the witness itself, who said this. It is as we once said. In light, there is only weakness. Only failure. Only death. But where the light takes, the dark gives. No longer will you be a pawn. No longer will you watch the lives of those you care for be lost. Remember, in darkness there is only strength, only victory, only life. Ancient power awaits you on Europa. When we got here, we learned of Aramis and her group of fallen who have the power of darkness to themselves, Stasis. We will rise again. With the Splinter of Darkness, this was now possible. And to combat this, the Exo Stranger returns and tells us it's okay to use stasis. Just don't let it control you and wield it for good. I wield it now with intent to stop our enemies where the light cannot. Your resilience within the pyramid proves you're capable of wielding it too. The darkness places a spotlight on our desires as it once did me and those I cared about. For a time, I had forgotten. Humanity relies on our selfless acts to bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so. With splinters of darkness still in hand, Aramis remains an immediate danger to humanity. Look within. Focus your power. So this was the point of the Europan Pyramid. Aramis had stasis, yes, but the witness led us here. Ancient power awaits us on Europa. It sounds kind of crazy, but it also makes me wonder if Aramis was sent here by the witness as well. We've talked before how she could have been a disciple, but there had to be a reason to lead us to Europa besides just these words, right? What if the witness said, give Aramis and her army stasis, this will force the guardians to come, have them get stasis, and then we're on our way to victory. Just a little side note there. In Witch Queen, we are sent to the pyramid on Europa to experiment more with the power of the dark. Here, we wanted to learn more about Deep Sight and the ability to see items from our past, so Ikora sends us back to Europa. You took power from this pyramid once before, Guardian. Ikora believes there is more to be found. How will communing with darkness help us understand the voices we heard when we found Sagira's shell? Reach the statue at the heart of the pyramid. Strengthen your connection to the darkness. As we fight to the entrance, we learn that the Cabal are here too. Defectors of the Empire have turned against Keitel in search of dark trinkets and power. Interesting. I'm picking up a Cabal transmission. I pulled a clip for you. Through the warriors of the Cabal Empire, defectors march upon the European Pyramid, searching for trinkets of darkness. Guardian down. Their expedition is not sanctioned. Any that join them act alone. My father's obsession with the voice in the darkness must not infect our own ranks. I guess this means the Empress won't mind us fighting our way in. The ship architecturally is built the same in terms of the overall structure. The outside looks the same as the others we've seen and the main walls and floors seem to be created from the same material. The big difference here comes to the layout and prop placement. 
All over the place we see interesting designs and statues that kind of resemble humans and horse-like shapes. It is important to note that all pyramids, or most of them, seem to be different. Even the rooms we entered in the earlier expansions with the statues had their differences in appearance. We also can presume that each disciple has their own pyramid ship. Although this one looks empty, did it have a disciple in the past? Or was the vessel sent here vacant in search for a new disciple in Aramis or us? The point is, all of these ships look different. Ralk had his own museum of hive and scorn in his, and he made it his own. We see the city down there, the murals, the giant hive worm god. The pyramids have a life of their own, and this one on Europa is also unique. It breathes its own design. Eris, the pyramid is reacting to our presence somehow. Opening doors, moving platforms. Perhaps it senses something in you. When I explored these strange passageways, I felt it sensed something in me, too. I resented it at first. To believe it recognized in me some secret kinship. But like you, Guardian, I have learned to use it. Again, though, the question is the reason for me. Was this for us? Obviously, Bungie has to throw some decoration in there in these statues and weird props around the place. But are these remnants from a previous disciple or relations to the current witness? You said the pyramid recognizes something in us, Eris. But what? A defender. A finely honed blade. Curiosity. It could be any of those. Or none. My Cora too has asked this question, and my answer is always the same. Pure speculation. I worry the ambiguity weighs on her too heavily. Guardian Town. I don't think the pyramid is helping us out of generosity, Guardian. It's manipulating us, using us somehow. The darkness is a neutral force, but the pyramids have an agenda. Until we know what it is, we can't let our guard down. Something must control these ships. We've never seen a pilot. In her journeys beyond the Heliopause, Queen Marasov encountered the entity that commands the pyramids. She said its mind spoke louder than any other she has ever heard. A cacophony of thought. Perhaps those voices steer these ships. One of those voices spoke to you in the Black Garden as well. In the end, the Europa Pyramid interacts with us once more, just like it did in Beyond Light. To what extent, we don't really know, but Ikora says it kind of helped us obtain some of Sagira's memory, so it's kind of hard to decipher. Now this is more crazy speculation, but what if interacting with this specific statue claimed us to be a disciple here? That would definitely be a pretty big plot twist. The Pyramid invited us in for a reason. The Cabal are trying to destroy the statue. We have to stop them or you won't be able to commune with the pyramid. Eris, we communed with the statue. We can't tell yet if anything has changed. It seems like we might not notice the effects until we're back in Sabathun's throne world. Either way, we don't want to stay here longer than we have to. Wise, these ships are still a mystery to us. So in the end, the goal here was to go to Europa to learn more about Deep Sight and this power of the dark so we could recover Sagira's memories. As we ventured into the pyramid, we found out it was allowing us in, leading us to certain areas, opening doors, until we found this statue right here which we interacted with. Ikora tells us the statue gave us what we needed, and for now, that's all we know. This place is vacant. There's weird statues that don't really have any meaning as of yet, and it really does make you wonder, was this place meant for us, or just sent here to lure us to the powers of stasis? 
Anyway, Guardians, let me know your theories in the comments down below and what you think is going on with the European Pyramid, who it was destined for, if anyone, and if we could come back here at some point in the future. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.